Hey everyone, Matt Covert here again from HowToBecomeARaceCarDriver.com and in this video we're going to talk about time management and this is just something I want to open your eyes about because there is a lot more time in your week than you think there is and this is something I got from Peter Voog who is an awesome entrepreneur and entrepreneur lifestyle coach and he's one of my mentors. If you don't have active mentors and you're not paying attention to people who have gotten to where you want to be, and that's something you really need to do to uh, help you find your success. But let's let's put some time management into perspective for you here, okay? Let's look at how many hours in a week there are. There are 168 hours in every single week. So here's a theoretical breakdown of how you might spend those hours, okay? Let's say that you sleep for 52 hours. That's seven and a half hours per night. I think that's more than someone actually needs when they're motivated and want to get stuff done. Everyone's a little different though, so that's yeah, that's flexible. Let's say they spend 50 hours on either work or school, and that includes commuting. That's pretty average. That's full-time job, full-time school. 15 hours a week eating, and 24 hours either watching TV or relaxing, doing something that just helps you chill. Okay, And we'll add four hours for going to church on Sundays or maybe watching sports in the afternoon. And we'll add another five hours for watching TV or relaxing again. Do you know what that means? That seems like a pretty full week right there to me when you look at it. You know what that means though? There are still 18 hours left in every single week. And when I heard that, it kind of blew my mind because people are so good at squandering their time. There is so much time in a week. Myself, for example, I work about 50 hours a week at a full-time job. I'm working about 15 to 20 hours on this website project, and that right there, that is a huge time commitment, but I love doing it, and I've definitely gone out of my way to make sure that I can do that, okay, because I love race car driving, I love teaching it. Teaching it actually helps you help solidify the concepts you already know, so this is going to help me when the racing season comes back around as well, and I know that. I'm also constantly learning or reading. Uh, what am I reading right now? Right now, I'm rereading Skip Barber's Going Faster, which is a really awesome resource. I'm reading Seth Godin's The Dip, which is all about motivating or motivation and getting through that really tough time between beginning and becoming an expert on whatever subject that you're in. Uh, in the mail right now, I have uh, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk's Crush It. I've heard about that from everybody. Everyone talks about that. Pat Flynn, Leslie Samuel, Peter Voog, Hal Elrod, all those guys. That is a staple in the entrepreneur and just crushing it lifestyle. So I'm really pumped about that. And to make sure that I have time to do all this stuff that I find very important, um, I find ways to cut down on things I don't need to do. I don't spend a lot of time on social media. Uh, that is a, an awesome way to squander your time. I, I mean, everyone finds themselves doing that, just kind of wistfully scrolling down through the Facebook feed. There's really nothing going on there. I have one Facebook friend right now, and it has really simplified my life. I would have gotten rid of my Facebook, except I need to keep my business page open, which you can find at facebook.com slash how to become a race car driver. Another thing I've gone and done is I've quit a bunch of the stuff that I enjoy doing, but am never really going to be an expert in things that I enjoy doing in my free time, but just don't want to invest the time it would take to actually become an expert. And that's something I learned from Seth Godin in his book, The Dip. So uh, these are all things you really need to be thinking about. If you want to be the best in the world at something, you really have to invest the time that you have into actually being the best. And I, I have to say one more thing. This is all really hard work. Doing this all the time, week in, week out, it's a hard thing to do, okay? And hard work is good, but hard work doesn't generate results. The only thing that generates results is consistency. Hard work consistently, that is what will generate huge results. If you do this all the time, you will be amazing. And that's what I'm shooting for here on this website and on the racetrack is awesome time management and consistency. That's really the way to go. So I'm going to put a link right here for the subscription button. If you want to get more lifestyle videos, more technical videos, more critical concepts, go ahead and subscribe to the page. You'll never miss another video ever again.